Hello and welcome. I'm Nate 42 and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to add trusted domains on Nextcloud via FreeNAS. Okay, so if you're like me, you've just installed this really cool shiny new software called Nextcloud. It's a which is a free software that allows you to do uh, Google Drive type things, but on your own private server. So you know, no one else is seeing your files apart from you and those who are entrusted. Uh, one really cool thing that you can do is customize it. So I've customized mine. It looks great. Um, and the next thing you want to do is you want to hook it up outside of your network so that you can view it on your mobile or through uh, other computers so that you know you can use it like an actual cloud like it's supposed to be used the thing with that is um if you want to do that it will come up with this it will say access through untrusted domain now it will say please contact your administrator you have to change the config.php file uh, and that file is not a very nice one to do not, not a very nice one to uh, modify if you go into freenas here you can see nextcloud here under jails so if you go into your freenas uh, area just go click on jails click on nextcloud click on shell and now this is the root shell for um next cloud which will allow you to modify some really cool things so what you want to do to start off is to in uh oh wait, wait sorry p k oh god pkg install nano so very similar to what we would do when it comes to uh like linux type things you want to install the software you can use pkg on here because this is actually freebsd and not Linux, which is uh, very sim similar in some ways, um, but not not exactly the same. So now what this is doing is it's looking through repositories, updating the plugins, blah blah blah, and installing Nano, which is, uh, if you remember, in one of the previous mess uh, in the, one of the previous videos we used, is a shell-based text editor. Okay, so as I already have Nano installed, which is because I I accidentally did this earlier. This is the second take, uh, just to. Yeah, there we go. Um, what you want to do is you want to go and find the config.php file. So you can do that once, I think only inside of this shell. So you can't do it through the actual shell. So this one down here most likely will not work. It might restrict you and not allow you access to the uh, next cloud area because that is what the jails are for is to keep everything else out to make it more secure. So. Uh, yeah, if you go to cd dot dot uh, ls, you can go cd um, usr uh, and then ls and then cd local. You want to go into local ls is to see what's inside the file, and then you go cd www triple w's and then ls see what's in the file. Next cloud is the one that we need next. So CD any tab. Okay, there we go. And then you go LS and here we have a lot of the files from inside of Nextcloud. So as it says in the thing, we want to go to config. So you want to go to CD config. Config. Sure. Uh, and then, then LS, let's see what's in there. Not much is in there, so we go seed uh, oh no, I'm gonna go nano. Actually what probably would be best first is to uh, create a backup of the file just in case uh, you mess stuff up with it. So you'll go cp config.php config hash backup.php. Okay, I put PC instead of cp, cp as in copy. Um, now you just go ls and you should now see that extra file in there which is config dash backup.php excellent i can see it right there so now you want to go nano space config.php enter and now this is the config file okay so this file i cannot show you it does have a lot of uh, very uh dangerous things in it which could uh re reduce the integrity of my my security um but down there'll be something that says array uh this array has zero and one 
and that'll be localhost and the local IP uh, that you uh, have. So you just want to kind of like make the next line look the same. I'm going to go to equals that. And then we have the two that will hyphens in. And we want to say that we will allow access through it via a specific IP address or connection route. So uh, you c if you have a local IP address, uh, if you have a local domain that links to this, you can type that in here. Okay, so I've added that information in. All you want to do now is you want to press Control X and it will say save modified buffer. Hit Y and it will say what file name to write. Hit enter and then that should now be saved. Okay, so you're just gonna have to trust me on this one, but <laughs> I did just type in the details up in the uh, address bar and it has come up with the portal to my uh, connection. So this is probably one of the parts towards moving away from Google if you wanted to do that so that, you know, Google the big processing machine doesn't have all of your data. Not that it does anything nefarious with your data. I don't know if it does or not, but I just feel like uh, if I have complete control of my own data, then if it gets leaked somewhere or if something bad happens to it, then it, I only have myself to blame and I can't get annoyed at other companies for that. So I, th I think that's really the main reason why I really care about this and why I am trying to make sure that I have all of my information backed up and secure. Uh, I'll probably be using some more of the features for uh, Nextcloud very soon um, because there's there is some really cool stuff out there for it um, and it would be really good to try out some of these features that they have. Um, so yeah, if you uh, would like to comment and subscribe, let me think, follow me on Twitter, that's at Nifu42, and thanks for watching.